Welcome back everybody. This is Eric and Chad here with IRAC Veteran 8888. Today, Chad, who is an MRE virgin, is going to try an MRE and we're going to break one of these open. And uh, in case you guys don't know what an MRE is, meals, uh, meal ready to eat. And uh, it's a common military ration. And the way the military issues them is in two different cases, a case A and a case B, with menus 1 through 12 and then 13 through 24. Okay, there's 24 menu selections that the military offers. Now, this MRE comes from MRE Nation. Uh, recently, we sent out our uh, Survival Man Can and we had the MREs in there from them. And of course, they have our snazzy branding on them. So you know what's Shameless what plug. There. Shameless plug. But anyway, uh, we, you know, we thought that we would break one of these open. Chad's never had an MRE, so we thought we'd take him through this. And we'll explain some of the things that are going on with an MRE. Now, um, they use a flameless heater, okay, which is really great out in the field. You know, if you're a soldier, you can't be making fires. You don't want the enemy seeing you, right? Mm -hmm. So the whole flameless uh, ration heater uh, comes from the need to uh, have noise and light discipline. Uh, the meal is typically around 2,000 to 2,200 calories per meal. Uh, it's, it's made for a soldier in combat who's, who's you know, exercising a lot of, uh, you know, physical and mental strain uh, from being in the field, right? You're sweating a lot. Uh, these meals are typically high in carbohydrates. They're high in fat. They're high in salt content. And uh, lots of the, lots of starch uh, and, and carbs, right? High mm. carbs. Definitely not keto, right? Absolutely not keto, but, you know, this is the uh, menu selection number three, which is the beef stew. Mm. So go ahead and open her up. Okay. Just so cut it open. I was asking Eric this morning, I'm like, do I need to bring like a little camp stove or something to fire this thing up? And he was like, no, you have no idea what you're talking about. There you go. Cut it open. Safety pay. Now they can be resealed, but we're just going to cut it open. Nice. And this is a Swedish Mora that one of our viewers from Sweden sent us. This is a military issue Mora. Sweden. How cool is that? All right, let's see. All right, so you've got your snack bread. Snack bread. Okay, and it's it's bread. All right, okay, we've got a too. jalapeno cheese spread. All oh, right. This is kind of cool. Okay, so that's the beef stew yeah. uh, accessory kit. Accessory kit. Okay, very Let's cool. See. Oatmeal cookies. Hey, it didn't say anything about all this extra stuff. Yeah, on here. you get all kinds of things. Look at this. You got a a uh, lemon drink mix that huh. you can add to your water here. Pink lemon power stick beverage okay. with electrolytes. So here's another thing. All right, about MREs that you're gonna find <laughs> to be really cool is all the descriptions are super generic. All right, now this one comes from MRE Nation, but the ones that the military issues, they can't call it M&Ms. They have to call it candy covered, you know, chocolate, chocolate discs. discs. <laughs> like it's like a super generic name. Like they can't use, you know, name brands. Okay. Okay, there's the heater. There's the heater. So okay. we got some uh, peanut butter. We got, we got some, some grape jelly. You got jelly, peanut butter, and jalapeno spread. What Do you have heck? crackers? Uh, well, there was a, what was this right here? That's bread, okay, so. That's wheat snack Okay, so bread. normally for your for your bread selection, huh. it's either gonna be like a wheat or white bread, which is like a little compressed uh, disc of bread, and, uh, or it'll be crackers. And the crackers come in like this big square. They're not pre-broken. You have to like break them into little squares. Oh, okay. I don't have the crackers to show. Now what's this here? Uh, SCM creamer spread. Coffee. Oh. Yeah, creamer, uh, I, creamer guess, I guess that's to... Well, it says milk and sugar. I don't know what that is. Hmm. I guess we'll have to find out. Okay, so... Oh, interesting. What you want to do... Let's explain the heater. Okay, so a lot of people get confused about these heaters. If you look in here... Okay, so when, when metal oxidizes, it gives off heat. Okay, as a byproduct. Now, when that metal oxidizes, usually it happens over a long period of time, right? Like you get your metal wet, and it takes a long time and it converts into red oxide, right? That's what we know as rust. That process gives off heat. What they did with this is they use magnesium flake, iron flake, and salt. And when it comes in contact with water, it oxidizes so rapidly that it boils the water inside the heater and creates heat as a byproduct and hydrogen gas as a byproduct. Mm. The hydrogen gas is flammable. So don't don't do don't get it near a fire, okay? Well. All right. So the way that you you work this thing is tear the top off right here. Okay. Okay. There's also look. There's tortillas. You have tortillas. So that's the making. So grape jelly, tortillas, and okay. some peanut butter. And this is your hot beverage bag, okay? Oh, Which okay. I would assume when you're done with the water, you can pour right. water in there. Tear to use bag. So just rip this off, right? 
Yeah, just rip it off. Let's see. Yep, just rip it off. Oh. Nice clean tear. Or you got a uh, knife? No, I might need to use a knife because it's right. not tearing. Exactly now, one thing well. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of pre-do here. All right, you'll notice the peanut butter. Now, this one actually feels like kind of soft in here, but both your cheese spread and your peanut butter, the jelly's not a problem. You want to knead the package. Knead right, the so package. Wanna, oh, okay. You want to do this. Massage the peanut butter. You have to massage the package. So okay. massage the cheese, and you're massaging the peanut butter. Okay, oh, you want okay. to massage it. Massage. Mm, massage. A massage. Okay, oh. so now, since you don't want to be eating some, uh, some cold beef stew, right? Mm -hmm. We need to go ahead and start getting our beef stew cooking while we uh, break into the tortillas and the bread. So I always start out with the entree first. Hmm. So go ahead okay. and what you want to do. Now normally there's like a little box that these come in. In this particular case there isn't a box and that's fine. Mm -hmm. We can take this package here and just sort of, you know, make ourselves a little, a little hill here, right? Here we can make Put our cookie since cookies last. Okay. We'll use our, our cookie as kind of like a little. So make uh, like a little elevated platform. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna make okay. a little platform. Okay. Let's now, see. go ahead and insert the beef stew inside of the heater. Okay. So you just leave all this in here and just put the beef stew package in there. I do. Okay. Now, well, there's a few different ways you can do it. Now, the military ones come with like a little brown cardboard box, and you can take the brown car cardboard box and just put the heater down inside it with the meal on top. But you can also put the meal inside of it as well. It's not going to hurt it either way. Let's see. Well, it says while holding MRE pouch, taste. Let's see. Place MRE pouch in bag with the heater. Okay. Yeah. Put it in there. And I would. Uh, let's see. On the front. Perforated of the... edge to the top. Perforated edge to the top. All right. Yeah. Go ahead and just put it in there like that. That's fine. Is that correct? That's fine. Sometimes oh, there's it's a, like a little zip top. Right. Or something? Sometimes there's a little cut along the top. Okay. So these are a little bit different than the military issue. All right. All right. Go ahead and put it in there. Now, uh, does it matter if it's on the front of the heater or the back of the heater? No. I guess right. It doesn't. All right. So that goes in there. Okay. All right. Pour the water in. Pour the water in. Yes. Until it fills up to the line. See the uh, line. Which line, right here? Do not overfill. See the line. Oh, that. It that does. Right yeah. There. It doesn't take much. Oh wow. It doesn't take much. All right. We're gonna add. Add a little bit of water here. Agua. Agua. Uh, a little more. Teen a bit more. Right there. Whoa, you overfilled it. Ah. Think it'll be alright? Yeah, it'll be alright. You can pour a little bit out. It's not a big deal. Pour just a tiny amount out. Sorry. It ain't rocket science, guys. Okay. So now what's going to happen is... That looks good. Go ahead and um, Ooh, it's already to yeah, it's going bit. to now. You're going to see a little bit of steam coming out from the water as it starts to boil, and Ooh. this is this is hydrogen gas. Okay. Okay. So highly flammable. Well, yeah. yeah. Right. Don't don't breathe well, it. Holding in. MRE pouch and heater above the lines on the bag. Pour water in the bag. Slide so heat in the bag. So All you right. can smell it. It's harmless in terms of you know what it is. So we want to fold this and put it back in this big bag. You can if you want. Yes. Yeah. All right. That's what so it's let's, showing. Let's All do right. that. Fold that. So the military ones come with like a little cardboard box to okay. put it back into, but in this case, they're just saying put it back in the bag. That's All fine. Right. Put it back in the bag and keep that kind of closed. Yeah. Keep that okay. kind of closed and look. Just sort of keep it elevated just a little bit. I wonder if we can. Not like it. that, but look, no. just oh, kind of like, like this, like a slight elevation. Okay. Well, here. Let's All put right. That's that's getting warm. Okay. So what's happening is that water is reacting uh, with the magnesium uh, slash salt slash iron concoction and it's rapidly rapidly oxidizing and it's boiling the water and it's that giving so off cool. steam and hydrogen and heat as a byproduct that's neat and it requires no flame okay so while your beef stew is cooking now we can look at a couple other things here so you got your peanut butter you got your grape jelly jalapeno cheese spread that's really cool to have all three of those in one meal all right, so we could even take your beverage here. So just drink. You got water in there? I have agua. There you go. I have that's fine. H2O. Let's go ahead and make your beverage. And again, each of these packages, you want to kind of like knead them a little bit. So electrolysis, more like a Powerade or a Gatorade. It's like Gatorade. Or <laughs> okay. It's like Gatorade, but they can't call it that. Mm. Look at that. Mmm. Lots of sugar. Sugary drink. Carbohydrates. Mm. Carbohydrates and electrolytes. Okay. All right, there's your sports drink. Generic. Generic sports, sports drink. drink. Okay. So you got your got your meal going, got your got your uh, your beverage. All right, and now let's see. They 
One package equals one wedge of lemon or lime. Crystallized hmm. lime and crystallized lemon. So if you want, hmm. not only do you have your sports drink, if you got some, you know, in the field, of course, soldiers have really crappy water, you can add you a little bit of lime or lemon just to hmm. make the water a little bit easier to drink. Hmm. That's not terrible, actually. Okay, so what do you think? What's the verdict on the drink? Not bad. I mean, it tastes like a Gatorade. Yeah. Mm. Like it? Yeah. Not okay. Terrible. Not terrible. So okay. Is there going to be something that I don't like? I'm going to be like, ah! Well, let's tell you what. Let's let's look at let's look at what what we have for bread and tortillas. Okay, okay. so you got cheese, grape jelly, peanut butter. I think that's all self-explanatory. We've already kneaded the package. Why don't you go ahead and break open the bread and the tortillas? Okay. So I mean, with this this thing, all right. So it's one MRE, but technically it's it's kind of like several little meals for like for a day. Like you would have one MRE per day is that the idea oh well, no you or can you or? can eat an mre for every meal i mean there, there's plenty of uh plenty of stuff to choose from and they do have like some breakfast specific items at the military <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like a cross between a pop tart and like unleavened bread i guess that's kind of interesting all right so we'll see how do i make this bread better put some peanut butter and some grape jelly you on can it. do whatever you want all right well. why don't you see what your tortillas are about so you know what your options are well, let's just see well all right let's see I am so, so much a noob at this. Ooh, man, look, tortillas. Mm. All right, now let me tell you something about these ration heaters as well. Uh, what a lot of, remember you got cookies for later Ooh, too. man, dessert. So what a lot of our, uh, mm. what yeah. a lot of our soldiers do in the field with the flameless um, ration heaters is sometimes if, if it's cold, like I remember a lot of uh, winters at Fort Stewart when it's really, really cold, when you're done cooking your MRE, you can take your flameless ration heater and you can stick it under your uh, sleeping bag, under your sleeping bag, oh. and use it as a little bit of a yeah. foot warmer. Okay. And I I can't tell you how many times we've taken the MRE packs after we're done with the heater and put them down inside our uniforms to help keep warm us up when it's when it's cold. I'm gonna go ahead and open your accessory packet. Okay. Now this is this is gonna as if this couldn't get better, right? You have right. options. You have accessories. All right, so let's pop this open. Right, while you're popping that up, I'm going to try a little bit of this PB&J. That tortilla looks pretty uh, it does. good. I'm just going to squirt me out a teeny little bit there. Look what you got here. Ooh, sugar. What do we got here? Oh, look, coffee. All right, so that, I'm coffee. assuming, would go with your creamer spread. Yeah. I guess if you want to make yourself some coffee, you've got sugar. So you have coffee. Boy, you've some water You've got a that. wet wipe here, so you can wipe your nasty so hands off. At corner. You've got a little tiny dessert there. Look, you get some Smarties. Yeah, yeah. Look. What's that? Toilet paper. Toilet paper. Well, you know, you put this all this stuff's got to come out, right? So you, <laughs> you know, put, you put it in. It's got to come out. You've got some salt. Oh, grape jelly. You've got some coffee oh, no. creamer. Oh no. And you got some salt and pepper and you've got a spoon. All right, a tiny sample of PB and J. All right, go. Hmm. The tortilla is pretty dang good. Actually. Is it? Yeah. The peanut butter's not bad. Try the bread. Hmm. All right. Let's try just a tiny piece of bread real quick. Now I'll put some peanut butter and jelly on that and fold it up. Man, I won't have to eat for the rest of the day. Well, what you really don't realize is that MRE means meal refusing to exit. Not good. I didn't warn you about All that. All right, look, the bread's not bad. Okay, how's Tastes peanut like butter? Peanut butter's good. Tastes like peanut butter. Actually, you no. Know, mm, yeah, it's not quite like Peter Pan. I'm a Peter Pan man, but more like Jif. All right, let's see. Now don't get too uh, too too funky on the uh, on the sweets now, because you still got some of that jalapeno cheese spread. Yeah, I know. I'm just taking like a tiny little bit here. Yeah, and just making me a little sample, just a tiny little sample. Look at that, just a little corner. Mmm. Go ahead. Yeah, I could survive off that. You say that it's actually not until bad. you've had about your fiftieth MRE. <laughs> 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 All right. Okay. Not terrible. Not terrible. Not terrible. Okay, so the, the menu options are very similar to what, uh, you know, the military issues. I say this is definitely on par, if not maybe even a little bit more, uh, more better. More better. -er. More better. It might be better, -er better -er. than what military uh, issues. Mm. Remember, we still have dessert, cookies, mm -hmm. and you still got beef stew to eat. Yeah, I'm just sampling. Right. So the, the pretty much with an MRE, the main 
item that you're going to heat up is going to be the entree. Hmm. And it's normally, I mean, it'll be anything from chicken and noodle to chicken cavatelli, beef stew, said like ravioli. jambalaya, ravioli. Uh, I know, and I'm just talking about what military issues. Now, hmm. MRE Nation has a lot of different options for what you can actually build your own MRE, which is cool. Hmm. So let's say that you wanted to order, you know, a couple of cases of M MREs from MRE Nation and you know that there's certain menus that you like a heck of a lot, you can actually custom tailor your own MRE, which is really cool. The military doesn't give you that option. They just kick a case off the back of the truck and you're just gonna deal with it. All right now, that's pretty good. I know we used to fight each other over the uh, Skittles and the M&Ms. The chocolate covered, uh, yeah. candy covered chocolate discs. Yes, yes, super Look, generic, super generic. I'm gonna tell you what, this cheese spread is freaking good. It is quite tasty. Not bad, is it? It's not terrible. I thought I was going to eat this and be like, oh, God. It could be worse. Get me out of here. could be worse. You said the hamburger's not very good, huh? Not my favorite. Mm. If you can call it a hamburger. I'm feeling like... We're talking about the military ones now, you know? <laughs> I didn't really eat today, but I'm feeling really full just off this. You still got beef stew to eat, I man. Know. This is where the rubber's gonna meet the road is when you start getting meat in this meat. thing. All right, so All right. another thing about right, MREs. Stop. That's really good. Another thing about MREs that people need to know <laughs> is that they're generally intended for long-term storage. So uh, they're designed to be stored, you know, if they're kept cool and dry and in a, you know, non-humid environment, uh, they can keep for several years. Okay, so that's one of the benefits of military rations is that they do have a long shelf life. And, uh... You know, military rations having a really long shelf life is not necessarily a new thing. Uh, recently, there was some new old stock K rations found from uh, uh, the Korean War. Okay, we're talking back in the 50s. And there was, I actually saw an instance where someone found some new old stock World War II K rations as well, like really old rations. And they were still good. Now, the K rations. The cigarettes were still good. They used to issue cigarettes and rations. Were those, um, <laughs> the K rations were in like a tin can. Weren't they like canned, right? It had like a little peel top on them, that sort of yeah. thing? But there was, there was a video that I found on YouTube of somebody opening up an original K ration and no the, botulism? Stuff, the stuff was still what appeared to be edible. No botulism? Beef stew. All right, so go. What do I do? Just pull it out of here? Pull it out. Don't Careful. get burnt. It's hot. Okay. It's warm. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. It's hot. Toasty. Yeah. Okay. Look at that. All right. Okay. You just pull the entree out without burning your fingertips. Ooh, Ooh it is. Oh, Ooh. yeah. It's hot. Oh, yeah. Careful. Ooh, yeah. Careful. Careful. Ooh, boy, there it is go. warm. Ooh. Yeah. Fire hazard. <laughs> it is a fire hazard. Okay. Got your spoon. Okay. And you got your knife somewhere right here. Now, how would you just normally open this in the field? You All right, now, now there, there's a couple of different there's a couple of different schools of thought on this. I see the little tab right here, just right, to kind of rip it down. Right, there's or, a few different schools of thought. Some people like to tear them across the top, and then you because the spoon's ah, the spoon's pretty long, but well, I like to squeeze it down like this and cut across the top. I find it to be easier to get out. Yeah. And it makes a lot less of a mess. Okay, so we're just gonna you rip this eat, open. You can rip it or you can cut it. Look at that. Look at that. Just like that. Okay. There you go. There's your beef stew. Ooh, man, it might be hot. Wow, that smells pretty good. There you go. All right. All right, now there's a couple of things here I'm noticing that is <laughs> a, an omitted, okay? Uh, our accessory packet didn't have any hot sauce. Okay. Uh, the military rations will come with some hot sauce. Sometimes, well, usually will come with like a little tiny vial of hot sauce. Like Tabasco. Tabasco sauce. Basically. Uh, you've got coffee. And I'll yeah. see the coffee. Is That's what I'm talking bread. about. So with the coffee, can you uh, can you put like another packet or something in here and boil water in in this bag with the heating? Yes. Stuff. That's what this is for. Oh, okay. So your hot beverage bag, ah. you would add your you would add your coffee and go ahead and boil your your coffee. Okay. Heat your coffee in this little bag. So is this uh, will. If, if we put water in there and the coffee, would that still heat in this bag? Yes. So how long do these things last? Pretty good while. Really? Pretty okay. good while. Uh, long enough for mm. you to handle your meal. I mean, mm. all right, so go ahead. All right, so the beef stew. It's not terrible. Not yeah. bad, huh? Not bad. Yeah, you know, I don't know if it's like Castleberries or Denty Moore, but... You know, it's it's edible. It's it's good. It's What's not that? bad. 
Okay. Yeah. I could stock up on these. Could you? Yeah. All right, you've got some salt and pepper if you need it. You've got a wet one. Mm. You got TP for later. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Oh, man. Hmm. Now I just need some coffee to go with my oatmeal dessert there. We can do that. All right, mm. so let's see. Ooh, fill, how, about, how about with hot? Fill with water to the appropriate fill line. Mm. Remove air from bag and secure closure. And, uh, hmm. Instant coffee. This is really not bad. Empty contacts into cup and heat. All right, so look, guys, I don't really drink coffee, but I'm gonna try to make some coffee. We're gonna we're gonna do our best here. I'm telling you, this is really really hot. Like, I'm very impressed with how hot that thing gets. I mean, it's boiling that water. Yeah. That's cool. All right, MRE so let's put version. Our, our coffee in here. Hmm. Okay. Coffee, creamer, up. and sugar. See if we can make you a cup of coffee. No, 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 don't put that in there yet. I'm you don't want the sugar. I want to try it. No, I want to try it black. Okay, so black. So okay. I'm gonna try it black to see what it tastes like. All right, very good, very good. Let's see here. I may have to get another cup. Maybe. I may need another cup. Hmm. What well, is still like piping hot? Fine, hang on, we gotta put your coffee in there. So you put the coffee bag in there and then do you just put a little bit more water in this or is it still pretty much just going? No, it should it should be warm. Alright, says oh, yeah, to look at that. It says standing. to squeeze the air out of it. So we're gonna squeeze the air out of it as best we can. Mm-hmm. Alright. Let's put your coffee in here. Okay. Ooh, that is warm, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it sure is. Yeah. And it'll it'll kind of find its way. Okay. All right. We'll just do that. Yeah, and you wanna you wanna lay it flat. Here, hold on. And uh up. yeah. There you go. No, no thanks. Terrible. Good for now. Good for now. Yeah, put that coffee in there. Let it let it get warm. Okay. All right. There's I'm your beef stew. Making a little bit of a mess. There you go. No, that's fine. Uh, if you're not making a mess, you're not eating an MRE. All right. So, and you still got your water. You got your sports drink mm -hmm. over there. So you can see that there's a lot in an MRE uh, in terms of how everything comes together. I'm I'm impressed. I didn't know that all this would be in there. It says beef stew. I'm thinking, oh, it's just got beef stew and like maybe a bag to heat it in and. Maybe some bread. It's or intended to be a meal. Hmm. Okay. Um, now, in some situations, like if you're really active in the field, you're doing a whole heck of a lot. You're training. You're in combat or whatever. Uh, you know, your caloric uh, intake will vary based on what you're doing. Okay. So it's not uncommon for soldiers in the field to eat two or three MREs in a day, mm. and you may very well be consuming six to seven thousand calories. Yeah. Uh, each of these MREs has, <laughs> you know, quite a bit of. Of calories, okay? Yeah, I'll say. Good We've got rip. our cookies. We'll go ahead and break these open while we're waiting on... This will be nice with the coffee, maybe mm -hmm. some cookies. Okay. Some cookies. Yeah, so let's uh, break this open. Hmm. We've got oatmeal cookies. Oatmeal cookies. Oatmeal cookies. I'll break... Hang on, let's see. we got a little piece right there. I'll save mm -hmm. a little piece. If I eat too much sugar these days, I just, like, fall asleep. Mm-hmm. Man. Say what, I got something for you while you're doing that. Now, where's our stainless steel cup? Right here. There we go. All right, so this is the cup from the man can. Right, let's have a look. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Put your little lid. There we go. And something got to put your, some boiling coffee in. Yeah, something to put some boiling coffee in. Mm -hmm. And then look, you can even uh, strain it mm -hmm. with the little strainer yep. on the lid. Very handy. Yeah. All right, this cookie is good. Cookies dang good. <laughs> now, uh, another hmm. thing that I want to know is what this this creamer spread is. What what would this be? Well, it's I'm not sure milk and sugar, is. so I'm guessing that it's maybe for your coffee or something. If I don't know, I'm not sure because they've got powdered creamer here, which I mean I'm not a fan of non dairy creamer. That's just dairy creamer. Should just be kind of sugary, I guess. Sweet creamer spread. I wonder and, oh, you know, if this is meant to be like a... Pop-tart glazing or something? Is it sweet? It is sweet. All right, so... I don't know what that's supposed to be, to be honest with you. I never, right. We never got any of that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm I wonder just... if it's just like a... Yeah, like a... like a, What would you call it? A 
glaze, like yeah, a glazed like a, donut, hmm? like a not like a donut or like a glazing on top of a pop tart. Because oh, I bet that glaze me. would be good on those cookies. Ooh man, one of them cookies out. One of them cookies. Just I'm gonna check on your coffee here while you're doing that. Let me see. Today on Cooking with Eric and Chab. Yeah, our heater is uh, losing a little bit of uh, ferocity here. Let me uh, see. I don't know if our heater is spent or not. We may be we may be at the end of our road on the heater. Yeah. We might have waited too long. That's okay. On that. That's okay. Let's see Stay if it's wet. warm enough. Yeah. It's probably a little bit warm, at least. Enough to try it. Let's see. It's not. It's cold. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> I think it was still. Maybe we good. should have put your coffee in there with the meal and took advantage of the uh, whole. Let's try adding maybe a little. More. Is it dry in there in terms uh, of? It's dry. Yeah. Here, I mean, let's maybe. add some more water. Yeah. Put a little more water in there and see if it'll pipe up. See if it heats up anymore. It may be spent. Yeah, it was still. Maybe we should have put the uh, coffee. Ooh, excuse me. What do you think? I think we're... Uh, we might... Is it steaming at all? I think we might have uh, gotten to the end of the road on our maybe heater. Maybe overstayed so our may, Maybe the appropriate thing would have been to put the coffee in there with the meal, and that way everything could heat at once. So that's okay. I'll, I'll take the blame for that one, for you not having your coffee. It's a lesson learned. That's but right. you know, if uh, usually when you're out in the field, okay, or if you've got a whole bunch of people and everybody's eating MREs, there's always going to be somebody that doesn't use their heat packet. So if this did wind up happening, you could always score another packet from somebody else or wherever. Is it getting yeah. warm at all? Yeah, it's heating up a little bit. Hmm. Well, not on that side, but on this side it is. So let's see. It's a little bit warm. Not much, but it's trying. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Like, Maybe it just gonna put it back used up all. Yeah. Try it. Try that. We can try that coffee here in a bit. Yeah, we'll see. That's pretty much MRE in a nutshell, okay? Uh, basically, you would rinse and repeat. Uh, each of the meals offers something a little bit different. Uh, my experience with them is mainly from military use, obviously, but um, with MRE Nation and the way that they're handling this, it's pretty smart to be able to cater your own MRE if you want. Um, so you could pick out like maybe four or five of your favorite meals overall. And uh, you could also strategically kind of plan the way you want these meals to come out so you're not getting like bored with them either so you know let's say that you could do like a beef meal a chicken meal um you could do maybe a whatever a pork meal however whatever they offer you could just you know mix and match a little bit and then as you try these things you also kind of figure out what's useful to you and what isn't mm -hmm. some people don't like the cheese spread some people don't like the peanut butter so it allows you to kind of cater that uh to your needs and apparently this is some sort of a dessert spread Okay, mm -hmm. it's what um, this is meant to be. When we were talking about putting these in man cans, we went on the website, and they have like a build your own MRE section. So right. I guess you can like get all the components that you want, and you just get them sent to you, and then you just package them yourself, I suppose. Well, no, they package, they package them for, for you. you. Oh, okay. Yeah, they package them for you. Oh, That's okay. what I'm saying. So you're making your own custom MRE. You would go in, and you would pick the meal selections you want, and it comes prepackaged, just like, just like you want. Just like you want. All right. Cool. Yep. Yeah, it's not really getting that hot. Yeah. It, it's a little warm, but let's just uh, let's just try the cold coffee then. Let's just see what it, see what it tastes like at least. I'm no like coffee connoisseur, but you know I do own a French press. This ain't no French press. <laughs> I no French <laughs> Promise French coffee. you that. All right, let's get. You can pour it in here. If I mean, you it want. looks like it's kind of like sweet tea. Oh yeah, uh -huh. juicy. Oh yeah, it's juicy. A little mil spec plus cup here. Why not? Right. This was also in the man can from mm -hmm. the survival month, so we are using some of the items here. Watch it, you got grounds in there too. It's okay. Okay, cool. Well, it's like instant coffee, so... Oh, yeah. okay, cool. All right. It just didn't get hot enough to get everything out of there. All right, cold coffee. Hmm, I mean, it tastes like coffee. Albeit cold. Yeah, I can deal with that. If you really wanted some coffee, and it was either this or nothing, <laughs> you I think take, you'd take it. <laughs> <laughs> you do have sugar and creamer, that would and we didn't help. use our salt and pepper. Uh, well, you know, there's enough sodium in well, these things already. Gosh, right. man, the uh, the beef stew was real flavorful. I mean, it didn't need any seasons or anything, but right, let's see. 
Or Let's try a piece of this cookie. Yeah. Help me eat some of this stuff. I, yeah, like I, I need a cookie. I can't, I can't eat all this stuff. All right, our moist it. How about that? Let's clean ourselves off here. It's not too bad. Yeah, I and mean, then you can get your moist towelette, to clean yourself off, and go back to whatever you're doing. More? We thought this would be a fun video just to show you guys, you know, maybe some of you aren't familiar with MREs. And Chad's never had an MRE, so we thought it'd be fun to kind of walk him through mm -hmm. uh, what one of these is like. This is very indicative of what you would expect in an average MRE. Cool. So, um, you know, we did, MRE Nation did the man cans for us uh, with the meals that we sent out in the survival can. So we thought it'd be cool to unbox one of these things and just really see what it's all about mm -hmm. uh, so people can see just what you're really getting. And uh, I definitely want to take a moment to thank all of our viewers. Uh, thank you for watching. We really appreciate it. Definitely want to thank all of our Patreon supporters. And look, those of you who purchase man cans and t-shirts over on the website, all of those funds go right back into supporting the channel. Thank you guys so very much for supporting us and believing in what we do. Uh, man cans is really fun. We really like uh, the challenge of putting together fun products for you. If you're interested in a man can, just go over and check out the uh, link in the description box below. You'll see uh, which one's for sale now. Probably the medical can, I think. Medical supplies is the one that we're doing right now. But uh, yeah, we thought this would be a fun video. We hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.